is uh, doing a podcast and uh, interviewed Jess the other day, and in, in his preparation, found out that Jess actually wins more than she loses. So she has a 65% win rate. Wow. wow. So the old adage that uh, you lose more than you win doesn't apply to Jess. That's just insane form for a Canoe athlete. More medals than hot dinners for most people, I think, yeah, Jessica Fox. Exactly. Anyway, let's see how she gets off to a solid start. Another girl paddling the hype that we've seen, or maybe it's the lady hype. I'm not sure which one, but she is quick so far. Yeah, she had a few issues in Australia with her boat being stolen, but she's back in it in her boat that had been stolen, and she loves it. So she's absolutely flying. Point six up on the first split. And you can see the family and friends running down beside her. Great yeah, support. Popular girl on the circuit as well. Uh, you know, she's she's constantly winning medals and stuff but also really humble um, you know no no arrogance about her at all so and puts uh, in the hours as the ICF uh, representative definitely yeah, Mr. Koski. a really good role model for the sport oh that was silky smooth flying oh, really quick through there Jess Fox that is how it's done oh we're gonna see that 110 look at that just about. using the water keeping it in way does she switch there. No, she stays on the downstream side, but she is 4.25 <laughs> seconds wow. up. She is absolutely flying. In and out, pushes high. Does she keep the run on like Teresa? Yes, she does. This is awesome. I, I think this could be the 110 run we've been searching for. Definitely, yeah. Lesson for all the other C1 girls. Anyone watching here, this is how She's it's done. She's muscling it. She had, absolutely had to fight that gate. Oh, the last move. Sliding around a little bit, but uses the wave. Oh, so wave. nice through that. This could be sub 110. Jess Fox wow. coming to the forge, the finish line. 106.34. 7.62 seconds in the lead.